told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Hi guys, Karibu Sana to the Nomad Nation uh, Can Travel Meet. We are the Mara Nomads. We decided to hold this meet to bring all travelers, uh, all travel enthusiasts, off-roaders, overlanders, and uh, tourers at one place to meet, talk, and you know, uh, exchange ideas, experiences with respect to the most that they have. Uh, I have a friend, a fellow nomad who's being cheeky here. You can actually see him. Yeah, the nomads are very cheeky. They are very funny and cheeky. So we decided to do this meet. We'll be doing it more often to bring all travelers, guys who own cars, four by fours, or even smaller cars to meet and just talk and get to know each other. And basically share the experiences and stories. So guys, uh, you can find us on Twitter. <laughs> this is a very cheeky fellow Akili. Uh, and Nomad, we have been, we have traveled extensively with him. Uh, you can find us on Twitter. You can find us on Instagram as the Mara Nomads. You can find us on Facebook. And we also have a WhatsApp group where we post trips, updates on trips. And, you know, we share advice referrals on how to kit our cars, where we can get our cars repaired and built for these extensive trips we do. Basically, the Maranomas, we go to places where no one will take you. Kenya is very beautiful and we have amazing places whereby uh, very few people have been to because they are remote, they have no facilities, but us guys are able to go there because we have we carry everything. We carry our accommodation, we carry our water, fuel, we carry everything. Come, come, come join us. We, are, we, we have space for everyone. Karibu sana, and it was nice hanging out with Amoke today. He's an awesome guy. Uh, he really, really loves cars and car events. We're very happy to have him here. Hi guys, I'm uh, Sakel, so, this is Amadele here, to call Leo Kisirian at Whistling Thought uh, Lodge. We're here with uh, Mara Nomad to go up and have a good time, good food, good music, good vibes. Uh, so, you're watching these now, just subscribe to Amoke from Sponsor Web and you can come up and yeah, Apple. Pin your subscribe button as well as follow Space and Guardian on Twitter, follow the Mara Nomads on Twitter, Instagram, and yeah, and don't miss out the next event, we'll be planning a similar event soon, so be on the lookout and uh, yeah, see you there. Uh, my name is Emmanuel Blasto from Petrolheads Gang Kenya. And today I've decided to come with my bicycle to Mara Nomad's event in Whistling Tones. Yes. So as you can see, these are Keepers and Gym electric e-bike. Yes. Um, it has um, a range of around 80 kilometers. Yes, and um, it can go up to speeds of around 60 kilometers per hour. Yes, but uh, at those speeds, power mode, you can only do around 20 kilometers. But if you go the standard mode, you go 80 kilometers. Here it has a, a motor, but you can also, uh, the motor is for pedal assist. You can use pedal assist and, or you can use electric only. Um, and it can show you the, the, the speed also here. So it's a 21 speed, it has 21 gears all around. So when the, the, the battery is over, you can also ride. I've owned it since January 2022. So it's around two years, yeah, two years, two years, yeah. I've gone around 3016, as you can see from the mileage gauge here. Uh, you, can, you can show them. Um, you power it on with there. So I've done 3,016 kilometers. Yes, it has a mileage gauge. Uh, today I've done 80 kilometers with it to here. And it's still have charge from Machakos. From Machakos to here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not using full electric, so it can take me back. So how long did 
immediately from the Around uh, 3 hours 50 minutes I was here. Uh, you can follow Manuel Viking. You can also follow Petrolhead Gang Kenya. Yes. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kennedy from Mobile Tribe and I'm uh, here at um, uh, Nomad Nation. What we have here is an electric e-bike and we have a Land Rover Defender. So when you just come in, maybe you can just be able to see our interior, what we have done with our Land Rover Defender. So we have done some kind of a modification in it. We have done a little bit of wood just to make it more comfy. And then the suites, they can swivel. As you can see, there is a table that is just right behind here. They try to do our interior with wood. This is kind of mahogany here. So the seats can swivel, as you can see this one, and you can have this table and this table. This can swivel also to be able to share this table. So as you travel, you can just have that conversation between you people and the driver is just driving. So we hire these Land Rover Defenders on daily basis. We are based at uh, Sirona Hotel, Gara. It comes with a pop-up roof and an awning just to have the shade. So the pop-up uh, tent comes, um, it can accommodate 10 people, uh, two people, sorry. And we also have extra tents that you can use to, when you're hiring the Land Rover. Then we also have a package where you can take the e-bike and the Land Rover. We have a trailer that takes the e-bikes, eight bikes at a go. How far can it go on a full charge? Okay, the range of this bike is 40 kilometers. That's on full charge when you're doing fully electric. However, you can do pedal assist where it will not be able to do more than the 40 kilometers. So when you're doing the pedal assist, you'll find yourself you're doing 60 kilometers or that. So you find many people who like to do the exercise of the pedal, but when they get tired, they'll just shift to the electric part of it. The speed for these is around 25 kilometers per hour. 25 30 it can do 25 30 kilometers per hour Hi, my name is Dan Weber and I'm here with my friend Sito who is building Kaya trailers. Uh, Kaya trailers are the first overland trailers that are built in East Africa and uh, now I can show you around a little. So, start with the most important part. Your fridge is right here, 45 liters connected to a battery, 400 amps so you won't run out. And then I'll show you where you sleep. So it's a two-person uh, bed, a two-person bed, one on 145 centimeters wide, two meters and 10 centimeters long, so it can even fit a tall guy like me. So then we have an Iron Man awning for the shades, and of course a kitchen. Sorry, I'm going to film you, wait a minute. Which one? So there's a, you have your garden, your kitchen here, with running water, and water for showering if you want. Take a shower. There's a hot water geyser in here. So you can actually take a nice hot shower. Of course for cooking, two stove, two stove burner and a little oven right here. Uh, and enough of uh, cabinet space for you to uh, to keep all your stuff, whatever you need. So we can also have a we can also have a rooftop tent. We have a roof on it with rooftop. Uh, Roof rack on top, and that can hold a rooftop tent, so you can actually sleep four people. So uh, come and have a look at this, this side, the electronics. Yeah, come on. Hey, man, let's go sleep. Yeah, ga ik pakken. So here you have your lights, your your power system. You can even charge your batteries, your laptop, everything right there and then. And we have some cabinets inside to to hold your clothing. 
So this is a Kaya trailer, the first overland trailer built in East Africa by my friend Sinto right there. It gets power from a solar uh, panel or whenever you're driving it charges uh, the batteries that are in the trailer. You can contact Kaya on kayatrailers.travel and uh, reach out to Sinto and uh, see what you want and what you're looking for and he will build it for you. My name is Sue, uh, we're at the Nomad Nation at Whistling Ponds and this is our rig, Land Rover Discovery 2. So at the back here, we have the storage, we have uh, a fridge 60 liters, sorry, that slides out for our food and everything. Mm -hmm. Here we have the gas cylinder storage. We have a storage for a carrier for the fuel, the buoys, two of them, uh, 20 liter, 20 liter. We have um, a drop down kitchen that drops down like that. So we usually cook from here. Um, we have our, we even have boga here. But we have the inverter in there. We have the light switches on the side. And uh, the dual battery is behind here. So how do you charge your batteries? We have a solar blanket. When the car is stationary, we connect it to this solar blanket. Yeah, but when the car is running, uh, the, the batteries just charge on their own. On the side here, we have uh, the kitchen pantry. It's not loaded currently, but, and then inside there is a 40 liter tank for water. Yeah, we have a 270 degree awning and a roof, rooftop tent that we have removed because this is also a daily driver. At the side here, we have a shower cubicle right here, drop down, that we usually use when we are out there in the bundus. And yeah, that's it. We travel as a family of four, two adults and two kids. And we are members of Bundu Rovers, very good Bundu Rovers club members. Meet us on Saturday in Naivasha. We have a meet and greet there as a club. You'll meet other guys there with similar rigs and even better. Uh, so my name is Dan, so this is my setup, uh, I have a uh, Land Cruiser G70, um, fully kitted out for an overland race. I have a modular storage system, um, I opted for Wolfpack Cross, um, so it's just modular storage, I can pick out whatever box I want, um, if it's uh, storage for clothes, food or, uh, or recovery here, so I can just pick out whatever box I want. Um, on this other side, I have an Alpic Bull fridge um, supplied by Bush Gear Kenya. Um, yeah, so the fridge is a 55 liter fridge uh, with um, with a freezer and a fridge compartment. Uh, we can do both fridge or both fridge. Um, so it's pretty um, uh, much better than that. You can set it up whichever way you want. Um, on, on this other side, uh, on this panel, um, this is an auxiliary power system. Um, with a 100 amp battery, a um, uh, 1000 watt inverter and a DC charging system. Um, yeah, and I have outputs for 12 volt system, uh, uh, USB outputs um, and a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter output. Um, yeah, uh, the entire setup is also done by Bush Gear Kenya. Um, yeah, uh, all the frame and everything. Um, yeah. I also have a 60 litre uh, water tank uh, with a pump. Um, so the water tank um, has a pump that um, exits, uh, there's a pipe that exits here. So I have uh, some connectors. Um, this is just a normal garden connector that I just plug in. And uh, I have water back here, pressured water. Um, 
Maybe I could just demonstrate how that works. Okay. Uh, uh, so you just plug that in, uh, switch on the pump, and turn on the water. And that is it. Nice. I have fresh water uh, back here for cooking, cleaning, uh, and uh, uh, Nice. And it's just plug and play. So I can use the same system for a shower setup. Um, I can just make one of these uh, for shower and one for kitchen and stuff. I also have uh, backup uh, water um, fuel, fuel tanks or uh, jerry cans. Um, so I have one here and four up there. So that is up to 100 liters of uh, fuel. But most of the time I only need um, three for 60 liters of fuel. Um, I also have another water pump at the top, um, but that is just for uh, just a backup one. Um, I just I really don't need it most of the time, so it's just a backup uh, tank. The 60 liters inside is enough uh, for an entire trip. Um, at the top, I also have the um, the 3 kg gas from Total. Uh, I think it's the small like Yes, they have. So I just hook it up and use it to uh, scum. Um, yeah, I also have storage at the top for light stuff, uh, blankets. Uh, yeah, so this is the pump, um, just a DIY system uh, from the tank behind the seats, um, and it just pumps uh, water to the rear. So that is a uh, 12, 12 liters per minute um, uh, rated uh, pump. So that is a lot of pressure of water. Twitter, you can find me at uh, Stranger Dev, uh, Stranger underscore Dev. Uh, yeah, and you can also find me in the Maranomans group, um, I'm somewhere in there. Um, you can just uh, shout out and uh, you'll find me there. My name the is Bob. Biggest con is the rear, the, the auto. The, the departure. Uh, so you run uh, with the Jeep here. The, the, it's a Jeep. Uh, the car is a bit long. 600 cc. Yeah, the rear bumper. The rear, the rear bumper is a bit long. Uh, as you can your, see, uh, all uh, done with the lift kit. Like the suspension. Does a tendency yeah, nothing to much. Trying to build uh, to get uh, really steep. to get it so to be an off-road vehicle, to be a true off-road vehicle. So we are still working on it. Yeah, but uh, as you can see, it's like yeah. in the yeah, engine and uh, whatever that is be, in, uh, in the engine bay, everything is stock. Nothing extra. Just the radiator. The radiator is the aftermarket, and uh, the lift kit. Just that. Otherwise, everything is stock. Everything is stock. The only thing I've just done is just the radiator. Nothing else yeah, it came with the lift kit it came with everything I've just done the awning just the awning nothing else so, yeah. oh yeah the winch yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the and the winch are a bit and the winch this is my place uh, BNB auto so like if you want to so especially at higher RPMs I, I do this uh, but uh, the main concentration is usually on body works and mechanical parts uh, we usually get help from uh, friends in the Jeep group I know they can see it and they can know it so we usually give each other ideas on how to actually make it much better so guys I hope you enjoyed the event as I did enjoy so remember today we are here at Whistling Thorns that's along Isinia Kiserian Highway so I came to attend a Nomad Nation Commit this is uh, the first of a kind of event that I've uh, uh, attended of such and uh, I can't say that uh, it was a bad idea coming here uh, this event was hosted by uh, Nomads Nation. You can go to their social uh, media platform and check them out. Also, remember if you need uh, to do some camping and trips, you can also check them out and they will sort you out. They are the best in Kenya. Guys, uh, if you need to check out these events uh, uh, for upcoming events, you can go to www.amokeblogs.com. Always remember to leave a like, leave a comment, share, and subscribe to Amoke Vlogs. 
see you on the next event. <laughs>